Did you know you can have your base automatically defend itself when it hits night time? This can be achieved by using a series of sensors and wiring which we will go through in this video. Before that however, we need to understand how logic sensors work and the effects of the announcement box. In this example, I'll set up the announcement box which will automatically send a message when it hits daytime in game. This is actually extremely simple to set up, but you will be astonished by how many people didn't even know this item existed. Once connected, you're free to put in any message you would like. Maybe something to alert the server that defensive measures have gone up. Or, if it's daytime, the complete opposite. Of course, a message on its own isn't much use in defending your base. Here we have an actuated wall blocking a doorway which is wired up to a daytime sensor. As you can see, it's activated and now the door has opened up. Now, although this is great for keeping out enemies, what if you wanted the wall to unactuate when a player was trying to pass through? This is where the player sensor comes in. In this example, I'm going to set up a wall which will only let players through from a certain distance. Firstly, connect your day or night sensor as normal. We then need to place the player sensor in a position that either goes as close to the wall as possible or overlaps to create a two-way door. If you do, for whatever reason, want it to be a one-way system in where the player can only enter and are blocked from leaving without breaking blocks, move the player sensor so that it only covers one side of the wall. On a bit of an unrelated note, you can also use sensors on rails. Do you want to set up a station that greets you when you enter? Just put one on the track. And finally, you can take this to the next level by using a nighttime sensor on a series of traps. This will make sure to annihilate anything that tries to attack you. In this case, it helped automatically clear up the end of a solar eclipse. Oh, and the message spam wasn't intentional. And so this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and please leave a like if you enjoyed. Also consider subscribing if you're new. Again, thanks for watching and goodbye.